Now it's not always convenient to have to calculate the absolute coordinate value of every endpoint. Sometimes I would like to be able to specify the coordinates in relation to the last point that I've drawn. These are referred to as relative coordinate entries and AutoCAD understands those as well. I'm going to start a line command and we'll look at relative coordinates. I'm going to start again from my absolute value of 2 comma 2 and now I want to draw a line that's four units long, four units on the X and was going to change, um, have no change on the Y from this last point, from my beginning point. To let not AutoCAD know that I want, I'm going to enter a relative value, I use the at symbol. This is shift number two on the keyboard will give you an at, which to AutoCAD means relative. Relative to that last point, I want to move four on the X and zero on the Y. And that's another way of picking that point relative to my last point. For my next line, I want to move four units on the Y and no units on the X. So I would say at um, zero units on the X, four units on the Y, and I'm up at that point. Now you remember our Cartesian system, when we move to the right we had positive values, when we want to move to the left they're negative values. So if I say relative, that means relative to that point I want to move four units to the, to the left on the X, so that would be a negative four on the X, and I want to move zero on the Y. To get back down to my starting point, if I use a relative command, I'm going to be moving in a negative direction on the Y. So I would be 0 on the X, but a negative 4 on the Y. When I hit enter, I'm back at my starting position.